back to another video. Uh, sorry I haven't made another uh, update on WWDC, but we are literally one week away from WWDC, and I gotta tell you, I am so excited. I don't think I've ever been as excited for WWDC in such a long time. Um, I think that this time around is going to be very, very different. Um, there was a rumor about Siri leaking uh, WWDC, but I never covered it because the stuff that she said was basically last year's WWDC, and it was a mismatch. But I wanted to show you guys something very, very interesting about the WWDC um, app. Now, Apple is known to giving away key stuff in their stuff, and we've already seen that through the invite, plus the notification when you're invited. But I want to show you guys something very, very interesting that I noticed today when I updated the WWDC app. So if you notice, on my iPhone, you can see all the apps look two-dimensional and everything's nice, but when I go to the WWDC app, now watch carefully, you notice it has a three-dimensional aspect to it. Now, obviously, there is a shadow and stuff, but if you look, excuse me, if you look carefully and you could download it yourself, if you look very, very closely, it looks three-dimensional with that futuristic theme that it has. Like, look at these. You can see that it's two dimensional aspects are here, but notice that there's more shadow and more detail into the symbol. So I find it very, very um, significant that this could be an important role. And if you open the app itself, if you go down to, um, to the venues and stuff, you will, and even in the Apple wallet, like the stuff in the app is starting to have three dimensional shapes, like the Apple wallet. And there are other things here like videos. So if you were to go to favorites, well, I don't have favorites or downloads, but if you go to all videos, notice that most of the UI and stuff, all these stuffs are starting to take on three dimensional shapes. So maybe it's a sign that Apple might be doing the three dimensional um, aspect of iOS 12, bringing back, um, how do I say it? Like iOS 12, let me like, it's, it's not, I'm not saying that this will actually happen, and I'm not saying that it will 100%, but if these are little signs that it might happen, it could be very interesting to see how it goes. Now, it isn't confirmed, and we don't know for sure if Apple will be bringing back the whole realistic feel of the App Store. Because iOS, in my opinion, is really, really not, like, it's not really pleasing to look at, if you know what I'm talking about. It's not really big. I mean, it's pretty much the same stuff, but we know that Apple's going to be refreshing it in iOS 13, but this year they want to focus on um, performance and stability of the app because with all these issues going on, but I have a feeling that if they were to go back to this, it would be really, really nice to see it, but we know Apple never goes back, but we can only hope and see that maybe there's some three-dimensional aspects added back to iOS. So that's just something I wanted to share, but that's not the main aspect of this video. The main aspect is my final thoughts and stuff, because I'm only going to do this video once, and I'm not going to redo it again. These are my final thoughts on iOS 12. These are my thoughts that I think will be showing off in iOS 12. And this is basically a combination of everything that we've heard and everything that we have gotten, and I think that this is exactly what's going to happen. I think they're going to focus on the improvements. I don't think we're going to see any big, big, big change. I don't think we're going to see that. I do think we'll get a, we're going to see cross-platform support for the iOS and Mac apps. I think that they're going to improve some AR. It, maybe that's what they're hinting at. The three-dimensional is AR. Make some more stuff. Now, if it's possible that we get the three-dimensional uh, redesign, that would be nice. I do think they're also going to do the home screen. They're going to group the apps and possibly we'll be seeing a dark mode because everyone and their mothers have been asking for a dark mode. So if Apple does get that, I think that might happen. I think we may be getting also a deeper Siri integration. Um, I'm not sure if there are any um, signs that that will happen, but I do see that with Alexa and everybody being so competitive, I think that it's more important that they work on Siri. I, I think they're going to redesign a few apps because there are some apps that are really out of date. Um, I also think that they're going to like work on FaceTime. I don't think we're going to get that multi-FaceTime. However, there are saying that there's going to be an emoji FaceTime. So that's interesting to see that. But in iOS 13, there are plenty, plenty more things to come. I think we're going to also get... Um, 
horizontal support for face ID so you can unlock it when you're holding it like this. And I think we're going to get new ad emojis. That's about it I can see for iOS 12. I know there were plenty of other things and maybe a three-dimensional aspect added, but I don't know if it really is going to play out. I mean, I do see the signs. Maybe it's going to happen, maybe not, but I just, this is what I'm seeing. And also, FYI, iOS 11.4 is coming out tonight. It is now available, actually, and you can download it for yourself and get not only messages in iCloud, but you can also get the HomePod stereos and AirPlay 2. So just wanted to little point that out. But that is pretty much what I think is going to come out on WWDC for iOS 12. Uh, Mac OS 10.14, nothing really too big. Again, just performance and stability. Um, will we see any technology events and stuff? I will cover that in another video. I just want to cover what I think we will be seeing from iOS 12. So that is pretty much going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. I just noticed my unibrow is looking very hairy. Got to get that fixed. But thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what do you think is going to happen at iOS 12 or WWDC this year? What do you think Apple will do with iOS 12? Do you think we will be getting the three-dimensional aspect like I was talking about or like it's been hinting? If it happens, it happens. If not, we can only hope. But that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.